Hi, my name is Wambui and I am an Ashtanga yoga teacher and practitioner. And today I'd like to guide you through the part of the Ashtanga yoga primary series. So all you need really for this practice are comfortable clothes that you can move around in and a yoga mat or some type of mat is um, recommended. And uh, I'm looking forward to having you join me. Ashtanga Yoga is a system of practice which links the breath, known as sound breathing, and postures, known in Sanskrit as asana. And when you combine the breath and these postures together, it creates a deeply calming and transformative experience for your mind and body. So everything starts with the breath. And I'd like now to guide you through this technique of breathing, which is called sound breathing. So I'd like you to close the mouth and we're going to inhale and exhale through the nose. So go ahead and close the mouth and inhale through the nose. Exhale through the nose. Again, inhale through the nose. Exhale through the nose. One more time, inhale. And exhale. And now, to make this breath even more effective and to get that quality of sound, we need to lightly constrict the back of the throat it's almost like you're saying the syllable ha, but with your mouth closed. So let's try it a few times. We're going to keep inhaling and exhaling through the nose and keep that syllable ha in the back of the throat. And you could even go ahead and close the eyes if you wish, just to keep the concentration more internal. So inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Last time, inhaling with that ha syllable. Exhale. And you can open the eyes if you had closed them. How did that go for you? Hope you're still with me. So now I'd like to combine this breath, sound breathing with some movement. And when we combine this breath and movement, it's called this vinyasa system, linking breath and movement together, which creates this deeply transformational, deeply calming form of moving meditation. So go ahead, let's practice that together now. We'll just take the simple movement of inhaling with that sound breathing, light constriction in the back of the throat, in through the nose, out through the nose, inhaling the arms go up, and on the exhale, the arms go down. And we want to sync our breath and movement together. So the completion of the movement happens on the inhale, and the completion of the movement happens on the exhale. So let's try that now. And if you wish, you can either keep the eyes open, looking up to the hands, or closed. I'll choose to keep mine closed. So let's begin. Inhale. Exhale. So now that we've practiced this sound breathing, We've also practiced this 
vinyasa, breath and movement together. I'd like to move on to the sun salutations, which we do at the beginning of every Ashtanga yoga practice. And the sun salutations are a dynamic way to link the breath and movement in this vinyasa. So, when you are ready, you can start standing. So now you can come join me at the top of your mat, bring the feet together in this pose which is called in Sanskrit samastitihi, same state. So you want to feel even and balanced. We're not exaggerating the posture in any way, creating any additional tension that we don't need. So just stand here for a few breaths, inhale and exhale through the nose with sound. You can bring the hands together in front of the chest and close the eyes. Begin to access that stillness within. One more inhale and exhale here with sound. and release the pose down. Okay, and now let's begin with Sun Salutation A. Inhale, raise the arms, touch the palms, look up. Exhale, bend forward. So depending on your flexibility, you may be here with a bend to the knees, hands on the shins, and that's absolutely fine. Yoga starts where you are. If you can reach the hands to the floor, you can bring them down. Inhale, lift the head up, stretch a moment. Exhale, place the hands to the floor and step back. Bring the knees down, come down onto your stomach. Inhale, using the back muscles, lift the chest up and forward. And exhale, tuck the toes onto the knees, lift the hips up into Downward Facing Dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. So your pose may look something like this, a round back, deep bend to the knees, and that's fine. Keep holding and breathing. And with enough time and consistent practice, the body will open up and begin to respond. Let's say this is the third out of five breaths here. Three. Four. Five. Look to the front of the hands and take a step or as many steps as you need to bring the feet in between the hands, lift up a moment again. Exhale, bend down. Lifting, coming up, take the arms over the head. And exhale, come back down to Samastitihi. So that was one sun salutation. How did it feel? Let's continue. Inhale, raise the arms up, look up. Exhale, bend forward. Come to your position. Inhale, lift the head up. Exhale, place the hands on the ground if they aren't there already and step back, knees down, stomach down. Inhale, using the strength of your back, lift the chest up and forward as well. Exhale, tuck the toes and lift the hips up. Breathe with sound here. One, Two, your hands are pressing firmly into the floor. Three, four, five. Look to the front and step 
all the way, feet between the hands, lift a moment, stretch, exhale, head down, lifting, coming all the way up, and exhale, Samastitihi. Let's continue. Let's do two more. Inhale, raise the arms up, touch the palms, look up. Exhale, bend forward, come to your position. Inhale, lift the head up, stretch. Exhale, step back. Knees to the floor, all the way down. Inhale. And exhale, tuck the toes, lift the hips up into downward facing dog. Breathe with sound here. One. Two, three, four, five. Look to the front and step the feet between the hands. Lift the head up, exhale, head down, inhale, lift the body up, arms up, touch the palms, look up to the thumbs, and exhale, samastitihi. Last time, inhale, raise the arms up, and exhale, bend forward, head down. Inhale, head up, exhale, step back. Now. Try to stay in this plank position and just roll the toes over. You can have the knees down if you like and lift the chest up here. And then exhale, tuck the toes, lift the hips up, downward facing dog. Breathe. One. Two, three, four, five. Inhale, look to the front of the mat and step the feet there between the hands. Lift the head a moment. Exhale down. Inhale, lift the body up, arms up, and exhale, samastitihi. So I hope your body feels warmer now. You can start to feel the muscles responding to the breath and movement, the blood circulating. Let's go on and build a little more heat. We'll do sun salutation B. This is longer, but we repeat many of the same uh, poses. So go ahead and try it with me or you could even just watch the first one if you wish. So we're going to begin by bending the knees, inhale, lifting the arms up, exhale, straighten the legs as much as you can and come down. Inhale, head up and exhale, step back. So here we are. Inhale, roll over the toes, lift the chest, and exhale, lift the hips up, downward facing dog. Okay, so now we're going to bring the right foot in between the hands. So if you need, if you come here and you find yourself stuck, you can go ahead and take the right hand and place the foot in between the hands. Turn that left foot out, bend the knee, inhale, raise the arms up, touch the palms. Exhale, hands to the floor, step the right leg back. Roll over the toes, and if you wish to make it a little lighter, bring the knees to the floor. Inhale, exhale, tuck the toes, lift the hips up. Second side, bring that left foot to the front, turn the right toes out, bend the left knee, or keep it bent, lift the arms, look up. Exhale, hands to the floor, step back. Roll over those toes, inhale, and exhale, lift the hips up. Breathe with sound. 
One, two, three, four, five. Inhale, look to the front of the mat and step the feet between the hands. Lift the head up, stretch. Exhale, head down. Bend the knees, inhale, raise the arms up. And exhale, samastitihi. Let's do one more, same thing. Inhale, bend the knees, raise the arms up, look up, touch the palms. Exhale, bend forward, straighten the legs as much as you can. Inhale, head up, stretch a moment. Exhale, step back here. Same thing, inhale, roll over the toes. Knees can come to make the pose a little lighter. Inhale, this is upward facing dog. Urdha Mukha Svanasana. Exhale, tuck the toes, lift the hips up. Inhale, bring that right leg to the front. Turn the left toes out. Take the arms up, look up. Exhale, hands to the floor. Take that right leg back. Roll over the toes, inhaling. Exhaling, lift the hips up. Same thing on the left side. Take the left foot in between the hands. Turn the right toes out. Bend the left knee. Inhale, take the arms up. Exhale, hands down. Step the leg back. Inhale, roll over, opening the chest. And exhale, lift the hips up. You can take a little step forward with the feet. Remember the heels can be high or heading towards the ground. Breathe with sound five times. One. Two. Three, four, five, and look to the front, step the feet between the hands, lifting coming up, exhale, head down, bend the knees, inhale, raise the arms up. And exhale, release, hands back to Samastitihi. Okay, so now we've done our sun salutations. Let's move into the standing portion of our practice. So we'll start feet about hip width apart. So I'm just going to face you so you see, you can get the proper alignment. If you take your two fists together, and place them in between the feet. It's about that distance, more or less. We don't want to go too far wide to the width of our mat. That's too wide. And we don't want to make it really tiny and narrow either. So go ahead and measure what hip width means in your body. And now with the first two fingers and thumbs, we're going to take hold of our big toes. Again, remember, keep a bend to your knees, depending how your hamstring condition is, you might need to bend it a lot and that's totally fine. Inhale, lift the head up, straighten the back and then exhale, you can lightly pull on the big toes here. You can activate the kneecaps, lifting them up, keeping the legs active here. Release the head down and breathe with sound here. One, Two, and you can pull your lower belly in here, creating a powerful suction. Three, four, five. Inhale, lift the head up, straighten the elbows, hold the pose and exhale. Let's go a little bit deeper in this forward fold. So if you can, 
take the hands under the feet. And if just the toes go under the, if just the <coughs> fingers go under the toes, that's a great place to be. So find your pose. And remember, it's not so much what the external position looks like, but what the internal benefits are, what's happening internally in your body here. So breathe. One. Two, relax the head. Three. Four. Five, inhale, lift the head straight and the elbows, hold the pose and exhale and release the hands. Inhale, come up. The hands can just be by your side and bring the feet together back to Samastitihi. Next, we'll go three feet to the right. So take a step to the right, about three feet. Arms out to the side. Turn the right foot out and the left stays just about where it is. And <clears throat> Utita Trikonasana, we're going to bend down. So if you're here, you can hold on to the shin, take the left arm up, and look to the hand here. This is a great place to be. If you can go a little bit further, you can hold on to the ankle. If even you use blocks, you can have a block on the outside. And if you can reach the big toe, you can go ahead and reach the big toe. So you have options here. And for this one, I'm going to stay up here because that feels quite productive for me today. Look up and breathe. One, two, three, four, five. And look to the floor. Inhale using the strength of the side. Obliques here, lift the body to come up. Let's do the same thing on the second side. So turn that right foot back in, turn the left foot out, and go ahead, take your pose. So you can go to the shin, ankle, block, or big toe. I'm going to stay at the shin. Look up to the right hand and breathe. You want to open the chest so we're not collapsing down in the great rush to get to the big toe. So one, Two, three, four, five. Look to the floor and inhale, coming up. So there's a B version to this pose, similar to the A version, which we just did, but with a slight difference. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do a twist in the spine. So we're going to go ahead and take the hips and the chest to face the direction of this right foot. We're taking the left hand and we're placing it maybe on the shin, maybe on the ankle. And if you can reach, place the hand on the outside of the right foot. A deep twist here to the upper spine. Look up to the right hand and breathe. One. Two, three, four, five. Look to the floor and inhale using the strength of the core. Lift the body up, turn that right foot, turn the left foot. And again, you want to take your hips and the chest with you. Right hand now at the shin, maybe further down, maybe on the outside of the left foot. Remember, don't rush to achieve any pose that the body is not ready for. Look up to the left hand and breathe. One, two, three. Four, five, 
look to the floor, inhale, coming up, straighten that left foot, arms out to the side, and exhale, let's return back to Samastitihi at the top of the mat. Moving on, <clears throat> similar position, but we go wider this time, so take space, it's about five feet. Turn that right foot out, bend the knee, and if you have a block, you can use it here. So place the block on the outside of the right foot just until you can reach the floor if that feels beneficial and productive for your body. If you can reach the fingertips on the floor, go ahead and place them there or the full palm of the hand. Bend deeply and make sure the knee and the foot and ankle are in about 90 degrees here. So we're not doing something that looks like that. Overextending. Okay, and then take the left arm over and look to the left fingers here. One. Two. Three. Four. Five, and release the hand down by the side. Inhale, using the strength, coming up. Straighten the right foot, turn the left foot out. Same thing on the left side, so bend. It's a deep bend, 90 degrees with the knee and the ankle. Hand on a block or fingertips on the floor or palm touching the floor. Take the right arm over and look to the right hand. One. Two, three, four, five. Release the hand down. Inhale, coming up. Straighten the left foot and exhale back to Samastitihi. Feet together. Good. Okay. Next. Take again a wide step out. So it's similar to the length you had in the previous pose. We're doing a set of four wide-legged forward bend variations. So the first one, we start <clears throat> hands to the waist, inhale, lift the chest, and exhale, place the hands to the floor. So depending, you might be here with a deep bend in the knees, hands, fingers, dangling here and that's fine drop the head down breathe and observe what happens with time and consistent practice the body will open up if the hands fingertips are on the floor hands are on the floor you can go ahead lift the head up a moment and exhale bend forward head down breathe one Two, three, four, five. Inhale, lift the head up, hold the pose and exhale. On the next inhalation, hands to the waist. Inhale, come all the way up. And exhale, hold the pose. And the next pose, B. Inhale, open the arms out to the side. Exhale, bring them back to the waist. Inhale, lift the chest. And exhale, bend forward, keeping your hands exactly where they are. Just drop the weight of the head down. Breathe with sound here. One, allow the weight of gravity to bring the body down. So no straining, no pushing to get anywhere. Two. Three. Four. Five. And inhale, coming all the way up, lift the body up, and exhale here. C, 
Inhale, open the arms out back to the side. And exhale, we're going to cross the fingers behind the back. So inhale, straighten the elbows, lift the chest a moment, and then exhale, release the head down. And again, we are not actively pushing the hands to get further down than they can go today. Just allow the weight and gravity to slowly open up the body here, the shoulders here. Let's say this is the third breath, three. Four. Five. And on the next inhalation, inhale, coming all the way up. Keep the fingers crossed behind the back. Hold the pose. Exhale. Last one. D. Inhale, hands come back to the waist. Lift the chest. Exhale, take hold of the big toes. Again, you might need to bend the knees generously here. Go ahead and do so. Inhale, lift the head a moment. And then exhale, bend down, breathe. One, two, three, four, five. Inhale, lift the head up, straighten the arms, hold the pose and exhale. And inhale, return the hands back to the waist. And let's step back to the front of the mat, Samastitihi. <coughs> now, you remember the position we did in the beginning, hands together in front of the chest. We're going to do something similar. It's just reversed. So, depending on your wrist mobility, you might need to start with the fingertips at the lower back. So go ahead and get here. If you have a little more, you can go ahead and bring the palms together, middle part of the back. <coughs> so go ahead and find the position that is most suitable for you today. And we're gonna step out to the right. Again, we are back with our more narrow position about three feet here. Turn the right foot, turn the hips and shoulders, lift the chest, and then exhale, bend down towards the right leg. So perhaps you're here, breathe. Perhaps you're here, breathe. Wherever you are, breathe with sound. One, two, three, four, five, and inhale coming up, turn to the second side, so turn that right foot, turn the left foot, take the hips and chest with you, lift the chest a moment, and then exhale, bend down towards the leg, breathe, one, two, three, four, five, and inhale, lifting, coming up, straighten the left foot, and then exhale, let's step back to Samastitihi, release the hands down by the side. So for this next pose, I'd like to invite you to go to a wall if you have a wall handy, or you can use a chair. And the reason why I want you to use the wall is, is it's a balancing pose, and I'd like you to get the balance challenge out of the first time you're trying this and keep the proper alignment. I'd like you to feel the proper alignment. So I'm gonna go ahead and use, I'll just have my elbow here as I need. So you can have the hand on the wall, or maybe the elbow touching, and if you have the elbow to the wall, go ahead and place the left hand onto your waist. 
Inhale, bend the right knee, take hold of the right big toe and extend it out. So you may be here and bend forward, breathe five times. Or you may be here. One, two, three, four, five. Inhale, lift the head up. Now exhale, open out to the side. So it could be like this. Here you are. Look to the left and breathe. One, two, three, four, five. Inhale, bring the leg back to center. Exhale, bend forward, head down. Inhale, lift the head up. Now keep the leg where it is. Release the hand to the waist. Breathe with sound. And you could practice balancing here. One, two, three, four, five, slowly release down. Let's do the other side. So place the left hand to the wall or the elbow, touching there for a little bit of stability. Inhale, take hold of the right big toe, keeping the legs straight or a little bit bent. Exhale, head down, breathe. One, two, three, four, Five. Inhale, head up. Exhale, open the leg out. Look to the right and breathe. One, two, three, four, five. Inhale, bring the leg back to center. Exhale, bend forward, head down. Inhale, head up, release the toe. Keep the leg up, place the hands to the waist, breathe. One, two, three, four, five, and slowly release down. Whew, that's a challenging one. Okay, <clears throat> so for the next pose, you can stay close to the wall. You can have the chair just for a little extra stability. I'll come back face the diagonal so you can see we're going to do a half lotus so let's inhale take the right foot the right knee up turn the right foot and place it on the left thigh so depending how your hip flexibility is it can be any version like so and now let's begin to go forward. You may want to just hang out here, breathing with sound. One, get comfortable with a little bit of wobbling. Two, three, four, five. Inhale, head up only, hold and exhale. And then inhale, come up, you can bend the left knee and exhale, slowly release down. Let's do the same thing on the left side. And I'll show now how the pose would look if you came into half lotus here. And if you can keep the foot pressing into the right inner thigh, go ahead and take the hands down to the floor. Drop the head down, one, Two, three, four, five. Inhale, lift the head up, hold the pose and exhale. Bend the knee, inhale, slowly come up and exhale, release down. Back to Samastitihi. Okay. <clears throat> and now we'll revisit part of Sun Salutation A to get to the next pose, which is known as Utkatasana, chair pose. So let's go ahead and revise what we did in the beginning of the session. Inhale, lift the arms up, touch the palms, look up. Exhale, bend forward, head down. Inhale, head up, stretch the back. And exhale, step back. Inhale, roll over the toes, 
open the chest. Exhale, lift the hips. Okay, and now on the next inhalation, bring the feet to the front of the mat between the hands, bend the knees, inhale, and you want to press the knees together here. Take the arms up and remember that powerful suction in the lower belly here. Look up to the hands, breathe. One, two, three, four, five. And now inhale, come down, exhale, step back. And again, inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Let's continue on here. Like sun salutation B, we're going to take that right foot between the hands, turn the left toes out, bend the right knee, and inhale the arms up here. And we hold for five breaths. One, two, three, four, five. Now turn to the left. So you're going to turn the right foot in, turn the left foot out, bend the left knee. We're doing the same thing on the opposite side now. Look up and breathe. One, two, three, four, five. Now keep the legs where they are, just open the arms out to the side and look over the left fingertips, breathe. B version, Virabhadrasana B, warrior pose B. One, two, three, four, five. Now we're going to get to the opposite side. So turn that left foot, turn the right foot out, bend the right knee, same thing. Second side, look over the right hand. One, two, three, four, Five. And now bring the hands to the floor. Take the right leg back. Roll over the toes, inhale. And exhale, lift the hips. Okay, and now to come to sit, we're going to take one leg, cross it. One leg, cross it, and sit down. Great. We made it to the seated section. So now we start a few, just a few of the seated poses. Extend the legs out. Feet are flexed, active feet. And again, if you need to bend the knees because of the hamstrings, go ahead and do so. Hands are by the hips. Let's breathe here, engaging the lower abdomen, that powerful suction. Breathe a few breaths here. Make contact with the ground now that we are seated. Okay, and let's take a forward fold. So Paschimottanasana A. You can go ahead, if you need to bend the knees, take hold of the big toes like so. Inhale, head up, and exhale, bend down. Breathe. One, Two, three, four, five. Inhale, lift the head up, hold the pose and exhale. Let's go a little bit deeper. So maybe you can reach the sides. Again, bend in the knees as you need. 
Inhale, head up. And exhale, release the head down. Five deep breaths here with sound. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. And then inhale, lift the head up. Hold the pose and exhale. Okay, and now to transition to the next asana, the next pose, <clears throat> we're going to cross our legs, bring the hands in front of you. We'll take it very lightly for now. Bring the weight into your hands and then step one leg back, step the other leg back, and here you are ready to transition. Remember, you can keep the knees down as you need. Transition into this Urdhva Mukha Svanasana, upward facing dog. And exhale, Adho Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog. Okay, so here we are. Now we are ready to bend one leg again, bend the other. Legs are crossed, sit down and extend the legs out. Okay, next pose. We're going to bring the hands behind you, the fingers facing towards your body. Try as best you can to keep the feet together and we're going to aim the toes to the ground. If they don't reach, no problem. Just do what you can, keeping the feet actively pressing together. So now let's roll the shoulders open, roll the chest open, and using the strength of your core section, you're going to lift the hips up, take the head back and breathe. One, two, three, four, Five, and slowly come to sit down. Now let's just practice one more time this transition. So cross the legs, bring the hands in front, weight into the hands, and you can step one leg back, step the other leg back. You can even make it light, knees on the ground for the duration. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing. And again, cross one leg cross the other and slowly come to sit down. Okay, well done. That's all we'll do for today for the seated poses. So now we'll move to the finishing section of the practice. In Ashtanga Yoga, we start with the sun salutations and we always end with the finishing postures. So we'll do the last three postures before we take a guided relaxation. So just come to a comfortable cross-legged position here. If you have a half lotus or even a full Padmasana lotus pose, you can also go ahead and take it. But I'll just demonstrate with an easy seated posture here. So go ahead and take one hand behind, the left hand behind, take the right hand behind, and you can just hold on to the elbows here. Inhale, lift the chest, and exhale, bend forward. So you can stay as high as you naturally go. If the body has a little bit more space, you can bring the head down to the floor and breathe 10 times here. One. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. 
10. Slowly inhale, lift the body up. And similar to what we just did in the seated poses, we're going to take, I'll just turn so maybe you can see a little better. He'll take the hands <clears throat> behind, fingers facing your body. Roll open, really exaggerate this pose. So we're going to roll the shoulders and lifting, pushing the chest up and forward and head back as much or as little as feels comfortable. So don't add tension just wherever you feel a productive stretch here. One, I'll stay somewhere in the middle. Two, three, four, five, and slowly come back to a neutral position here. So now <clears throat> let's bring the thumb and the index finger together, hands onto the knees. Your arms are straight, your spine is straight. Everything feels very stable, very steady, and very relaxed. So again, like in the beginning of the class, we're not exaggerating any posture here. We're just comfortably aligned in our skeletal structure here. Find a place on the floor to gaze at, not far from your mat, and breathe with sound 10 times here. One. Two. Three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. And now the last little challenge here, the last little push of effort before we take our relaxation. We're going to bring the hands to the floor. Now, you don't want to have them right by the hips here and you don't want to have them by the knees. Just bring them in the middle of the thighs here, okay? And now using the strength of your arms and the lightness in your <coughs> core area, you're going to inhale, lift and push the hips up off the floor. So you make distance with the floor here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Slowly release the body back down to the ground. Well done. We've made it through about a quarter of the Ashtanga Yoga Primary Series. And I look forward to having you join me as I go further into this beautiful practice. So now we're going to lie down and take rest. You've earned it. So go ahead, if you want to put on any warm layers, stay warm, stay comfortable. We're going to go ahead and lie on the floor. So lie down on your back, legs straight, arms down by the sides, close the eyes. And now for these next moments, just release all the effort. 
So you don't have to breathe with sound, you don't have to use any technique, just observe as the breath moves in and out of your body. Get heavy into the ground here. And just really allow the full weight of your body to be held by the ground here. So relax the muscles in your face, around your eyes, around your jaw, your temples. Relax the full weight of your head. Feel all the systems in your body just slowly shutting down for these next moments. And it's here <clears throat> where we begin to process and integrate all the benefits of our yoga practice that we just went through. So this is actually the pinnacle of our practice. where we give enough time and space for the stillness to be accessed. And an ideal amount of time to stay in this pose is anywhere from five to seven to 10 minutes. So <clears throat> next time you do this practice, you can set a timer for about seven minutes here. And now on your next inhalation, take a big breath in and a big breath out. Begin to smooth the fingers and toes. Circle the ankles and the wrists. Begin to bring movement back into your body. I like to take a big, I like to take the arms over my head and take a big long stretch. And bringing the knees into the chest often feels very soothing rocking from side to side. And now go ahead and turn to one side of the mat. <clears throat> and inhale, slowly push, come up. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you feel light and refreshed with a newfound sense of energy. Please Keep coming back to the practice, coming back to your mat. And I very much look forward to sharing the half primary with you next time. Thank you.